Uh, from Classly, after they just giggled. Uh, <laughs> can you welcome in <laughs> Greg Austin and Fade Al Sayad, please? <laughs> I was just saying, this is the most colourful psychedelic audience that we've had so far, and I've, I've never yeah, nice. seen so many TARDISes. Is it TARDIS? TARDI? TARDI? In one place. How, how extraordinary is this? You are well and truly part of the Doctor Who universe now, aren't you? Look at this. The audience have accepted you. It's all, it's all good. How are you, how are you enjoying uh, your experience at Comic Con so far? I'm loving it. Even just like you said, like a Doctor Who fan, especially, it's so welcoming to us. It's just so overwhelming. To, like, it's just crazy. So, so I haven't called. I caught up with you guys earlier, obviously, but you've got you've been down signing autographs and things like that. Yeah. Now, what's the response been to you? Is it has been positive? I'm loving today. Yeah. 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 Loads of uh, yeah. meeting all you guys. It's always wonderful. That's what. Yeah. I don't, I don't think. Well, I don't think I'd do this if it wasn't for how wonderful the, the fan base is. Just yeah. Because it's just everyone's just so lovely to chat with. Everyone's so unique and yeah. individualistic. It's it's really good fun. I love it's it. Really nice. And everyone's just got nothing but love to show. I mean, someone brought us Easter eggs today, and it's just like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> say no one's ever brought me an Easter egg. <laughs> Talk about individuality, you know, it's the first time I have ever interviewed uh, a Galian prince. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's time for everything. It's not often you can say that. No, it's not. I don't think I'll ever be able to say it again. <laughs> so, no, I mean, it's uh, it's fantastic to have you guys here. Thank you, Evan. These guys, pleasure is all mine. These guys here, some of them are interested, some of them are filming, some of them are, I, I think, there may be a couple of questions we may be able to prize out of the audience. I just want to throw it straight out there. I've got you for half an hour, and I know there's going to be tons of questions out here. I'm just going to throw it straight out there. Many. Um, okay, <laughs> who, who wants to ask the first question? Oh, it's shy now. Okay, go on, go for it. What's it like entering into this type of universe from previous jobs that you've done before? Wow. Um, I mean, it's always, I've always dreamed to be a part of, like, even throughout my career, I was always doing, like, a one episode, a two episode, and I'd always dreamed to be a series regular in a show, um, and then this came, and it was just, like, a series regular in the Doctor Who show, it was just, like, way above my expectations, so, just the, the response, and just, the, it's just a completely different experience, I mean, for other shows, because you really get to experience a special fan base, and I've never experienced a, a fan base like Doctor Who before. So for them to just be so loving and welcoming and just to introduce us to this completely different world and be so loving is just honestly just the best feeling in the world. So it's really great. That's essentially that. Um, but yes. <laughs> that's, you can't say much better than that. But going from my, my other main role uh, in Mr. Selfridge, obviously period drama to sci-fi is very, not jarring, but jarring. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, yeah, completely different uh, and a wonderful, wonderful change. Um, how much I love doing Mr. Salvage, I've got to say. Uh, Sci-fi is more on the street, so do, getting to do that was wonderful. And working with all these guys, <coughs> it, was, it was a dream job, it really was. And these guys, uh, we, put, we put on a few boards to an edge in Most of it's filmed outside my office. Well, yeah, that it, it's at Cardiff it. University, so I'm a doctor at Cardiff University, and I can't go out to my. I open the door to go to get a coffee or something. There's an alien outside. My bad. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be seeing you guys outside. Yeah, so, we were actually filming right next to the Doctor Who studio. Yeah. We never actually got to see them. One, but sometimes we snuck in to like check out the TARDIS and what did you see? The next time we saw them was at the fire alarm. Yeah, the fire alarm went off, and then out of nowhere, like Peter and Paul came out and he's did like, "Did you trip. set the fire alarm off?" No. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't us. Like, we wasn't actually supposed to mention it because we didn't want anyone to know. It was fun. Not at all. I won't mention your fingers were crossed then either. Another <laughs> <laughs> question. Kind of following on from that, ideally, where would you like to see your characters end up? Is there things? Maybe, maybe not situations as such, maybe experiences you'd like you to have, or things you'd like, how you'd like you to grow, that type of thing. 
Yeah. Regardless of what you may or may not have been told already, you know. Yeah. Well, well, we we, we know as much yeah, as you, you know. Yeah, you know. You know, just ahead of us. Uh, yeah, yeah. We 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 know very little about next series apart from the fact that it is probably happening. With with it seems to be pretty good behind the scenes, but um, apart from that, we don't know much. Um, I'd like. I'd, I'd like Charlie and Mateusz to sort things out, <laughs> ideally, really, because I just want them to be happy. I really do. Because I, I have to act it out. I have to do all this stuff, and I love Jordan. I, I just want us to be happy. I want us to go on and have like a nice, happy scene. So I'd, I'd, like, us, I'd like some, hopefully, them to not be too traumatised after the end of the series. And, well, they're going to be, but hopefully they're working out. <laughs> yeah. So do you feel there's any investment in your character as well? Uh, yeah, just a <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, I'm really invested. I, I really want series two. I, yeah. I really just want to see how it goes. I, think, I don't think it's any problem. Because series two now, um, we, we don't know what's going on with that yet, but it's looking good. But of course, series one is going to be showing very, very soon, isn't it? After um, uh, uh, Doctor Who is yeah. in America now? Yeah, so we today. Yeah. yeah. On Saturday, is it? Saturday, yeah. Yeah, so essentially it's going to be shown straight after Doctor Who, which is which is great, because hopefully everyone that watches Doctor Who in America will watch class. It's huge. Um, so yeah, it's looking really good, and the way BBC America have been pushing it is really, really good as well. Like, they're really pushing the show, and you know, there's, there's real hope. Uh, which of your characters would make the better companion for the Doctor and why? Mm. Out of just us two? Yeah, fight it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you go first. I don't know, I feel like both of our characters would suit. I feel like I could add a bit of street wiseness to the doctor, you know, he's doing something wrong and be like, listen mate, don't do that. <laughs> but I feel like with Greg's character as well, I feel like it would be so funny to have like this really awkward companion who just just doesn't have a clue. And he's just like, you know, every time the doctor does something, he'll like search up what the doctor's doing and just Yeah, I, 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 I... For Charlie, I think, yeah, it's whether you think there's a good thing or a bad thing. He's, I think he's quite similar to the Doctor in a number of ways, yeah. compared to a lot of other companions. Yeah. So, yeah, wait, so maybe, yeah. so, <laughs> that's the main thing, isn't it? So, uh, I think that could be a really cool thing, but someone, someone call the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no, there's no real reason to fight, because if I get the role, I'll bring you both. Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. There we go. We'll just bring you both. Sorry. We'll bring you both. Sorry. <laughs> Shine. You're really shy. Okay. Oh. So, any other questions? Yes, Quill and her predicament. Oh. Where do you think that's going to go? See, that's really interesting. There's a lot of predicaments. Yeah. Even like with me and Shadow King, like, what is going to happen? Am I being the Shadow King? Am I... That's interesting. <laughs> 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 the fairness, Charlie called it. So. Yeah, I know. I called it from the beginning. I called it. Um, so, yeah, no, that relationship to see, I, don't, I really don't know how that's going to go. Like, and obviously Quill with her baby, it's like, I have no idea. And that is why we need a season two. Exactly. Like, so you genuinely don't know, you haven't been given sort of a story arc, or you no, say? No, sort of, what we do we know, we know a little know. bit, I think it's going to sort of focus <laughs> around the arrival, which is in the last episode, with you soon. The arrival, right? Yeah, yeah, and there's, uh, oh, I don't know how much you can say. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. What uh, you can say about the bills? Well, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to say it because, no, no, Patrick has, Patrick has an idea for the episode next series um, to do with each one of us interacting specifically with the governors yeah. for various reasons, but it's all like us. I know very little more than that, but... Yeah, that's literally all we know. 